Hello, people of the Antwerps, it is I, Sapphire. I'm Meron. And welcome to... Nom Noms for the Tom Toms. And for today's video, we are going to be making... Happy Kitchen Happy Hamburger Set! Yay! Now, we're going to be taking turns to make these, so <laughs> it'll be fun. So what you are going to need for this is a plate, scissors, a little knife, two straws, two is optional, two toothpicks, water, tape. It's most recommended to use clear tape, but since we're very ghetto and don't have clear tape, we're just going to use duct tape. Now let's open it. This is what the little interior of the little bag is. Aha! And we're going to take our scissors and cut along the dotted lines. And be careful not to chop it all the way up because there's little stencils and little things that you're going to need for, for decoration. And look, here we go, ready? We're going to trim along the this dotted line right here, and we're going to use and cut out the little templates that we need. Our little placemat. And here's our little tag for our cup, our french fries, and the little flags that go on top of the hamburgers. Here are our tiny little flags. Our drink. Stop being weird. <laughs> our french fries. And this is our little template to make and, and to flatten out our cheese. Now that we have our things all cut out, let's walk through what we have in here. So you can see you have our little tray. And here we have our six flavor packets, which will become our delicious snacks. Our cup for our soda, our little knife and little spatula, and obviously our tray. So first, we're going to tape all our necessary things together. Drink! French fries! Hamburger flags! Woohoo! And now we're going to get to cutting. We're going to get to <laughs> cutting our things into four <laughs> different quadrants. Hamburger patty and hamburger bun. French fry maker. And this looks like this would be our ketchup tray. Now we're going to start with making our french fries. So you're going to need this tray. And we're going to need this yellow packet. Mirage is going to pour it in. Already off the bat, this smell actually smells like potatoes. No. I want to eat it. And now we're going to take the water scoop and put exactly two scoops of water. One. One. Dos. And now we're going to take the tiny spatula and mix it. And when you got it good and mixed, this is what it'll look like. Nice and thick and clumpy together. We can see. And next on the agenda is to pat it down nice and smooth onto the bottom. Because on the bottom of this tray is actually nice little ridges where you can eventually cut them up to make them look like little french fries. And I'll pat it down, it'll look like this. And now, for this one specifically, you're going to have to microwave it for about between 15 to 30 seconds, but keep a very close eye on it, because if you see bubbles, you have to stop it. You don't want to overcook it and make it some hard potato chip. I will be right back. And now I am back. It is nice and tasty and warm, and it does shrink a little bit. So, we're going to take our cute little placemat, and we're going to take it out. Make sure you guys are careful, it is a little hot. Here's what it looks like. And now we're going to take our cute little knife and cut them up into little french fry strips. And after you're done cooking them in, or cutting them up in little strips, we're going to put them in our cute little fry thing. <laughs> and here's, here's our little <laughs> french fries. I'm going to put this on a little plate and set it off to the side for now. <laughs> Yeah, don't that away. Next, we're going to make the actual burger patty. We're going to need the brown packet, and we're going to need to use this little tray. And this little tray to actually mix it in. Dumping this in, I'll make this one. Ooh, that smells like hamburger helper. And we're going to need precisely two scoops of water. One, two. Ah, ah, ah. Yo, Danny Phantom was only 14 when his parents built this very strange machine. When he woke up, he realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes. Alright, so when you guys are done mixing it, it'll look like this. A little wad of meat. After we're done, we're going to put it in our center hole. How many times have you seen center? Thing. Thing. Mm, smells like Salisbury steak. Now we take the orange packet, 
the same mixing bowl. And we're gonna add two scoops of water. And also, the last two little cups right here is where we're gonna put our buns. It doesn't really have a smell to it, but it does have that stale, yeasty, bready smell. Yeah. And two cups of water. One, two. This is the easiest to mix so far. And this is what the finished product looks like. So now we're going to fill it up to the little, I don't know if you can see it, but the little midline right in there. And now we're going to tap it to get all the air bubbles out. And this is what it looks like. And you're going to want to microwave this for about 15 seconds. And make sure, again, just like the other french fries, if it bubbles, make sure you stop. I'll be right back. And now, as you can see, it is done. So be careful, it is hot. We're going to take the knife and cut it around. <laughs> and here's our little finished mini, almost finished product. Next on our agenda is that we're going to take our blue packet, which is the cheese. And we're going to take this mixing bowl once again. And we're going to apply one scoop of water. Oh, it smells like Velveeta cheese. And apply one scoop of water. So, after you're done mixing it, this is the time we are going to need to use the blue strip as a template to flatten out your cheese. I'll try and make this cheese as perfect as possible. This is as good as my cheese is going to get because it's not cooperating with me. So now we're going to take the little knife and cut it in half. And you do not need to microwave this. Our second to the last we have to do is make our ketchup. We're going to take the red packet. It smells like barbecue chips. Oh, Alright, add two scoops of water. One. And Mirage will be mixing this one. Two. And this is what the finished product looks like. And now we're going to take our little hamburger patty and our hamburger bends, and we're going to cut them in two. <laughs> it turned out relatively well. Mm. Now we're constructing our patty. Alright. And now we're going to take our cheese. Mm, that's right, and we're gonna take our catsup. I want a little ketchup. Our little flags. And stick it in the middle. And here's our little meal. Bye. Last but not least, we are going to be making our sulta. Take the last pink packet. Cola flavored. And it does smell like cola. It looks like, it looks creepy, doesn't it? And we're going to add scoops of water until it reaches about the one centimeter from the top. Let's watch it fizz. Mm. Look at that! Another one. Another one. And we're just going to mix it a little bit, make sure the powder is all disintegrated. And it smells like straight up cola. Smell it. I want some cola now. Mirage and I will be sharing, so we have our cute little two straws. Wait, we're going to try it without the ketchup first, <laughs> and then we're going to do the ketchup second. Ready? Two, three. Actually, honestly, it does have a nice yummy potato flavor, but it, it, it tastes like a stale potato chip. You can definitely taste like a little salt that's in it. I love the aftertaste. And it tastes really good. So, let's dip it. I'm going to dip mine again. One, two, three, go. It tastes like tomato soup. Yeah, the ketchup tastes like tomato soup. And it's really sweet. <laughs> and actually, with the french fry, it just tastes like dough with, like, <laughs> tomato soup on it. That's pretty good. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you call the french fries? Probably about a 9.5. I'll call the french fries about 7.5 out of 10. What about the ketchup? 5. Yeah, I give it about a 5 out of 10 as well, because it's very sweet. It tastes like tomato soup with, like, sugar. Okay, ready? We're going to take a little bite. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. This is our tiny itty bitty baby Krabby Patty from SpongeBob. Ready? One, two, three. Mm, there's like an actual burger. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I absolutely love this. I want more. The burger is really good. The meat tastes like still sounds like this tastes like Salisbury steak. And the ketchup, again, very sweet. But I think with the sweet ketchup and how salty and savory the rest of the sandwich is, I think it adds a really, really good balance between like the saltiness and the sweetness. Uh, the cheese is pretty sweet too. The bun tastes like dough. dough, dough, dough. And since this is all microwaved, it has a very, very steamy taste and texture to it. But I still really like it. I think it's adorable. 
I do too. Absolutely adorable. What do you rate the hamburger out? Nine and a half. I definitely rate the hamburger nine out of ten. Here we are. Now we're gonna try our cola. Okay, ready? One, two, three. It tastes like <laughs> it tastes like very syrupy flat cola. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> Uh, the cola was very, it's very <laughs> syrupy tasting for the powder that we mixed it in. And it lost the carbonation, like, very quickly. Woo! So I'm scaled a 1 to 10, what do you rate the cola? Probably a 3. I rate it about 4.5 out of 10. But it's adorable. Overall, this is really, really fun and really, really, really cute to make. You can go on snapguide.com. It'll show you directions on how to actually make these Happy Kitchen and also pop and cooking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We sure had a blast making it. Make sure you guys like, love, and subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook page in the description below. And I will also leave a link to a video of how to make Happy Kitchen hamburger set. And uh, where you can actually buy the Happy Kitchen hamburger set. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. And my lovely guest, my sister Mirage. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye bye. bye. bye.